All right, guys, here comes the cinnamon rolls here. All right, gotta eat a dozen. Another beautiful day in Taiwan today, and I'm here in front of Feed the Wife Bakery for a cinnamon roll challenge. That's their signature dish, and it is so cute. They have a little quote in front right here. My wife married me because of my cinnamon rolls by Feed the Wife husband. That's just so cute. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't say that. Married me not just because that's okay. It's so cute. But anyway, I love cinnamon rolls, so I'm super excited to take on this challenge. Let's go inside and check it out. It's so good in here. These are all freshly baked. They opened up just an hour ago and there's such a good aromatic smell in here. Ooh, look at those cookies. So here is the uh, cinnamon buns for my challenge and I can defrost these on my own. I'm so excited. I can defrost my own cinnamon buns. Let's try this. I actually don't do much baking, but I honestly really love it. You know, you know what though? Since my family is Asian, when my dad remodeled my kitchen, he was like, "We don't need an oven. We don't need an oven. Why would we need an oven?" So this was when I was like in middle school, so like nobody was using the oven at the time. So when I started growing up, and then I wanted to like make sweets and bakeries and stuff, and I was like, "Why don't we have?" oven and then I was like oh right because my dad took the oven out of uh, our kitchen so I was so sad so I didn't have a like oven to work with growing up but I always thought it was really fun because like decorating and stuff is like really artistic and I've always been like kind of like a more artsy person I'm not good at school I'm more of an artsy person so I like to draw and stuff and like do graphics so this is always so fun to like make it stuff pretty and there's like there's like no like limit to how creative you can be you know Cause like, sure I can just like make circles, but like, what if like one, I just make like a happy face. <clears throat> Yay, happy face. <laughs> so this is fun. Oh my God, this is actually so fun. I get to frost my own cinnamon rolls. These are pretty big too. They're, they're not as big as cinnamon bun rolls, but it smells delicious. And they have like a little glaze on top. And yeah, this is, this is awesome. Yay! All right, guys, right. here comes the cinnamon rolls here. All right, got to eat a dozen. How long is it? 30 minutes. OK, in 30 minutes? OK, yeah, got to eat all that. Awesome. Yeah. Sugar. Yeah. Sugar. Huh? Huh? Okay. All right, all right, perfect. From here. That's awesome. Let's go. There you go. So here, this is the cinnamon roll challenge here at Feed Your Wife Bakery. Let me put my hair up. There's a 30 minute time limit to this and there's also a cash prize if I finish. And I put a glove on this one too. There is so much frosting on here. I got some hot milk and of course my Diet Coke. All right, and without further ado, let's begin. Hey guys, so what an amazing challenge this was. I love cinnamon rolls and um, the owner of this restaurant, he had such a unique or just such a cute concept because like I mentioned earlier, the Feed the Wife Bakery was a bakery he uh, made for his wife and the logo was uh, my wife uh, married me because of my cinnamon rolls. It's so cute. But seriously, these are really delicious cinnamon rolls and I later found out that you actually need a month reservation to um, have some of these cinnamon rolls. Isn't that crazy? Like when I walked into this bakery, I was like, 
I don't see any cinnamon rolls, but it's because they've actually been booked out for the entire month. I've never heard of that. I was, I was like, that's how good their cinnamon rolls are here in Taiwan? It's good, but I just never heard of something like that. It's crazy, isn't it? It's very frosted, I'll tell you that. This, the When I first um, frosted my buns that they let me, they put way more on after than I initially put on, so it was very, very creamy. Um, ma compared these to like cinnamon bun, these are kind of a little bit smaller but they're still very big cinnamon buns and definitely halfway through i was definitely feeling the dough was definitely getting very heavy and because it was a lot of frosting it was a little bit sweet but you know the frosting here is not as sweet as the cinnamon bun or like sweets in america is and um yeah i think maybe that's why they have a month-long reservation for just cinnamon rolls because I don't really see cinnamon rolls in Taiwan. It definitely is a very unique pastry to see in Taiwan. We they, they make a lot of different other pastries, but that's pretty cool. But yeah, this was a challenge to see if I could eat a dozen of them within 30 minutes. If I finish it within 30 minutes, I get the meal for free, as well as a 3,000 cash price, which is around $100 USD. Wait, Jack, do you play League? I used to. Oh, okay. I used to all, you too? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's the best kind of friendship. I tell you, all my friends, I still keep in touch with. Yeah. Are my kind of friend, kind of friend friends. Yeah, I understand. And Lee, and work like Starcraft, and Warcraft. The one game that I didn't get into is the uh, World of Warcraft. Oh, me too. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't get into. Because I was too into okay, Starcraft. So but now I still Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I've given up. I haven't played games for like 10 years, just because I break it up, like, up to it. I, I can't just play for fun. I have. I understand how you feel, don't worry. I mean, like, a lot of details going into the thing. Yeah, I used to be able to play for fun until I started competing the way. And then I just lost all my uh, fun. Like, yeah. that entertainment is gone. That was more like, how does this work? You know, and how do I uh, come around it or whatever, right? Yeah. Bye. 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 Uh, last bite, last bite. Wow. GoPro start recording. Uh, last bite, it's only been 14 wow. minutes. Ooh. Oh, we stopped the timer? Oh, yeah. So it was like uh, 14 and... Oh, then actually, okay, okay, wow, very professional. Very professional, very professional. <laughs> wow. Okay, there yeah. you go. Perfect. 1434. <laughs> wow, amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is very Perfect. delicious. Very thank delicious. You. I wish I got it right, like fresh, so yeah. it's like, super hot. Yeah. But it was still very delicious either way. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, impressive. <laughs> was, it, was that hard? Tough? Um, it's okay. It's like, it's like. What was the hardest? I mean, obviously hard. you did it. This is like, you know, 15 minutes, under 15 I'm minutes. Like it. It, maybe like. 2.5 out of 5 difficulty. 2.5 out of 5, that's it? So it's easy. <laughs> it's, so yeah. it's easy, but not easy easy that normal people would do it, but like for people who Dutch challenges, it's easy. Okay. Yeah, but for like a normal person, it will be difficult. Because like normal people only eat like one or two. There's, yeah. There's no way. Yeah. It is very sweet towards the end. Yeah. But... But you no no but you know what I think um, American I mean uh, Asian sweet is not nearly as sweet as American sweet so think yeah. it has to has to okay. okay yeah yeah even American sweet is so yeah. sweet next so time we'll, we'll bring out the sugar packets no no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so if it were warm would it go down like easier to oh yeah yeah much much yeah, 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 yeah. Right? yeah so what I ended up doing because like I wanted to finish or get the harder part out of the way first like yeah. towards the end it's a little bit more filling right right so I, if if you were watching me. I ate like the top part because it's cold yeah and then the outside because it's cold and right. then the inside was kind of like I was trying to insulate the heat so that was like the last end I could just kind of like swallow because I needed more chewing on the colder yeah. harder yeah. parts because it's like a little bit just a, mm, 
not burnt, but Jen crispy. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, yeah, what do you yeah. call that? Like uh, more well done. I, I don't know. Yeah. I know more of a texture. Yeah, that's more, more texture. texture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I get, I get what you mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Like how you uh, came up with the plan, like, like on the spot to insulate. <laughs> that, that usually like happens. Strategy. Yeah, yeah. Strategy yeah. along the way. Yeah. So there's like a big strategy in, in eating competition. Huh? There's, there's actually a strategy. Oh yes, definitely. That's just like yeah. Yeah, because um, like a lot, I think some of the hardest things to do with like competitive eating is, is you have to deal with flavor fatigue. Okay. Yeah, and I mean that that is the reason why I drink so much diet coke because right. diet coke flavor is so different for okay. whatever I eating. So you know, I'm eating so creamy, so milky, right. and I get a hit of this, and it's just like my uh, mouth is kind of like nice refresh. contrast, refresh it. Yeah, yeah. yeah Otherwise, yeah. the whole time my mouth is just sweet and creamy and just like a nice right? It's yeah. just kind of nauseating to have the same kind of taste in my mouth. Yeah, I get what you mean. I, I get it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Wow. I, I'm speechless. <laughs> uh, I made it too easy. Yeah. What was one challenge that like you thought was tough? I'm very bad at like. Then the juices, jumbo juice, the carb and heavy, like pancakes. Like American pancakes, pancakes yeah. are so hard. Wow. Okay. Um, How about pizza? Pizza's hard too. Pizza's okay, but that's just no. But at first it was very difficult. But I, as funny as it sounds, like I had so much practice eating, especially pizza, because Americans love watching pizza eating. Yeah. I just kind of got used to it. I'm also lactose intolerant, so I have to take a pill before I do pizza challenges. Oh, but yeah. you have the milk. It, I'm, it's not too serious. Yeah, okay. yeah, and this is not cheese. It's specifically cheese. cheese. I'm so yeah, bad cheese. at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I practice pizza sometimes by myself. <laughs> <laughs> what was the most difficult, would you say, over your career? So you not know the um, food challenge. The one that really stuck to my mind, that really helped me in terms of flavor fatigue, yeah. is fried chicken gizzards. Fried chicken gizzards? Yeah, in Florida. Okay. Yeah. Gizzard? Yeah, yeah, because because yeah. you know why it was so bad is because um, they didn't fry it well. So like maybe like ten minutes into eating it, the fried became not fried. So it was just a big mush. Oh, you know what I mean, right? Because yeah. like they didn't let the oil drip, yeah. so yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. so mushy. Yeah. And then that texture was so hard to continuously swallow. Yeah. But I think that was just like I, I just pretended that was my training arc of like flavor fatigue. Yeah. So I just put it in my mouth and swallow. I didn't even try to like taste it. Yeah, it was. You just swallowed it. Yeah, I just put it in my mouth and I just drink some water and just swallow it. I didn't try to like because there was no texture. It's so yeah. gloopy. I don't want to try. I don't want to taste it. You know, it's like, I, 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 it's bad. But, I can just like, yeah, I feel like my mouth now like grease. Like, oh. And also, you get jaw fatigue after chewing. Jaw fatigue went away after like about a year for me. Okay. Yeah, but it, it it did like it was very bad at first, especially yeah. with pizza. Yeah, like it was so it's all much dough and chewy. And yes, there was so much acidic reflux on my jaw. It, it stung yeah, so yeah, bad. I, I felt think... like my jaw was gonna fall off. Wow. Yeah, but but after so. so much practice, it my jaw is fine now. Next time we gotta get like like my two kitchen guys, the, the, the really big guys in there to come out and Do compete with you. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, you versus like three guys. Okay, because okay. I don't think two guys can do it. It's got like three guys or four guys. So you know, and looks like like. You here, and then they're like on the side, and like go. It's like, <laughs> oh, like three versus one. Yeah, like three versus okay, one, because okay. I think that's only, that's only where they can beat you. Sure, Maybe. Sure, sure, sure. Maybe. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's only saying because that's, that's, that's too easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Four. Yeah. He does a lot of competitive eating too, right? Does he? No, he no? doesn't do competitive. Oh, he doesn't. He's Sorry. just a foodie. He's a foodie guy. Yeah, okay, he's a chin. foodie. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, he can eat a good amount, more than normal person, right. but he doesn't. But do he's not a competitive. Yeah, no, he's not. Yeah. So. I saw that you were with other competitive eaters in Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, uh, before your videos, I didn't know they existed here in Taiwan. Well, I, Me neither. I, I didn't know any Taiwan. Yeah, I didn't know. Like, Katrina showed me. If you told me they existed, I'm not shocked. But then the fact that I didn't know any or that they, you know, they <coughs> weren't popping up on my feeds, mm -hmm. that was kind of surprising. And then you were just with like five, six of them. Yeah, yeah. Because like I like to just... Uh, 
Well, this is the other. I like to, you know, meet people and yeah. see like what other people do. And yeah. yeah, it was fun to meet them. And then the majority of them speak English, but I, I can communicate in Chinese. I just can't read it. Yeah. So it, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. That restaurant you guys all went to, I feel bad for that restaurant. No, that's one of the friends. Oh, okay. They don't really understand. It's not that we just randomly show up, and then we eat for a while. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's what I thought. The like, place was it? No, 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 no. The skewer, right? The skewer restaurant. Oh, yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah, they they purposely closed down for us, so okay. the whole day was just sh uh, yeah. shooting. Where where was it? Uh, I didn't see the restaurant, but what I saw was her and like four or five other like six six eaters. Yeah, no, they went to the restaurant, okay, and they were eating the place out. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so like, if I was the owner, I'd be like, yeah. oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, it's it's. Uh, so do you ever eat well like normal meals? Yeah. I, mean, I you're not eat normal. You're not doing this every day. I only do it every day when I'm touring. Yeah, I take a lot more breaks at home where I'm just trying food. Yeah, yeah. I, I try to like, not do much time. Savory and yeah. Yeah. Is this fun for you? This like, is fun. This is like this is fun. you know like. Because you just had sushi in the morning and now this and you got to do a burger challenge? Well, this is fine. I like this. The okay. sushi was painful because I hate sushi. <laughs> oh, yeah. So rice, right? Rice is filled. Well, I don't like seafood. Oh, you like seafood? Yeah, I don't. Just the time I gave a strategy, trait, uh, the one that's the lightest to eat a lot of mussels and clams. Not to actually eat the seafood with the rice. Yeah. So I'm just sitting there eating mussels and clams. I'm like, wow, oh, this is so bland and boring yeah. to eat. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's, it's, it's right, 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 right. Yeah, because so, like it, the time limit is 50 minutes, but I ate what I needed to eat to beat the challenge in like 20. Yeah. I was just sitting there. I was like, I don't want to eat anymore. Right. Yeah, no, but yeah, because but they were also shocked because like I didn't eat it so fast. And most yeah. eaters need the whole 50 minutes to complete. Right. But I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I don't like to sit there for a long time to eat. Right. Yeah. And, and the burger place, where's which place are you going to? I have no idea. How about? Yeah, it's, it shouldn't be that far. Uh, what's the name? Do you know? I have no idea. No idea. I just know it's a 1.8 Gongjing uh, burger and 50 minutes to finish. 1.8, one point, like two kilo? Yeah, two kilo. But it's where? not that big. It's not that That's big. That's four pounds. I mean, I've seen those on TVs. I mean, like you know, yeah. Netflix. They have these shows. I, I, like, I mean, mountainous me burgers. You know. I, I'm from America. I've seen bigger you, burgers. Yeah, you've seen yeah, bigger. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I want to know where that place is so I can go in. Uh, <laughs> we we'll can go. We'll we'll really can go. go. <laughs> My wife will have to give me permission. It's pretty <laughs> expensive though. Well, yeah. yeah. If you fail it, it's a uh, oh, oh, geez. Yeah. <laughs> that is expensive. Yeah, it's actually pretty expensive if you fail. Yeah, we, we gotta suffer. You see it. We gotta suffer and then pay the price also. <laughs> <laughs> so that's usually what happens, right? If you don't finish down, you pay for it. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I was very surprised by the price because. Like that flood challenge, yeah. if you fail it, it's bop bop bye. Yeah, it's not even that bad. You, you might as well just take it, take the family and get a share. So, like, sorry, how, yeah. how big was that flood? Sorry. Oh, it's it's like this big. He said it's about 5 feet. 5 feet. There are many people in there. Okay. It's very big. 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 No, it's not. It's very big. 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 No, it's very good. That owner is from Vancouver. So, oh really? Yeah, so he learned how to make fun from the Vancouver. Oh. And so it has Canada. more of an American. Yeah. yeah. So it must be good for Yeah, it must yeah, be good. It must be good for Johnny is all about value. Da, 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 that da, nice big stack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks oh, my, oh my god. <laughs> Compared to the three bills. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude. Oh my god. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> three thousand dollar price. I told you he's a drug dealer. <laughs> That's awesome, you guys. Come check this place out. Feed your wife bakery. The cinnamon rolls are delicious. All right, you guys. So that was super fun. And I also found out that that bakery is so popular that those cinnamon rolls, you have to order two months in advance that that's how popular they are people are ordering these two months in advance you can't just show up and get a cinnamon roll that's why when i walked in i was like huh where are all the cinnamon rolls i expected to see a lot of cinnamon rolls but they're all taken they're all sold out that's crazy so definitely check that place out feed my wife bakery let them know i sent you and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye